I'm Leighton. I'm a pretty ordinary person with an ordinary house, with an ordinary family, and ordinary stuff. But I know a God that makes my life extraordinary. Being a Christian isn't just about going to church, following the rules or saying the right things. But it's about knowing a guy named Jesus who couldn't care less about the religious freaks of this world, but rather is interested in real people with real issues and real life. God isn't just some big guy up in the clouds waiting to strike you down every time you do something wrong. God wants you to enjoy life. Jesus said, I have come so that you may have life and have life to the full. As a Christian, growing up for me was all about going to church, following the rules and doing the right things. But going through high school, I tried to follow all the Christian rules, not drinking, not partying, um, not smoking, not swearing. Um, and even though I was checking all the boxes, so to speak, I still had that emptiness and I just didn't find that fulfillment. And I thought, I found myself in church, sitting on the pew, thinking, this is boring, this is a waste of time, what am I doing here? So basically in my mind I just sort of pushed aside religion and thought I'm going to go have some fun because this isn't doing anything for me. So um, I ended up going out with friends, going to clubs and parties and started drinking and getting drunk and experiencing all the fun, all the fun things. And it was fun. Now up until this point I'd found Christianity to be like a real restrictive thing and I couldn't I used to be into motocross heaps and I used to find mum and dad would be saying you can't ride your motorbikes because you have to go to church and I found that really restrictive and frustrating because I couldn't like progress with the motocross and I couldn't do that sort of things. But I was at the stage where I was old enough to make my own decisions and I had to go out and experience life so um, I had sold all my motorbikes, got out of motocross and bought the Nissan Silvia and started getting into drifting. So I went out for my first drift comp out at Tamworth and um, I said to mum and dad, no, I'm not going to church today, I'm going out drifting. So um, they were like, okay, you're old enough to make your own decision. So I hopped in the car, drove out to Tamworth, through the windy mountains and listened to the radio. And the further I got out, the radio reception sort of died and I was thinking, oh no. So I started looking through the car for like some CDs to listen to. and. I couldn't find any CDs except for these CDs of this guy named Herb Larson, um, this preacher guy, and everyone had been raving about raving about these CDs, and I was like, oh, the last thing I want to listen to is a sermon, like when I'm going drifting. Um, but then I thought uh, the radio was dead, so I just couldn't. I was just getting bored, so I thought, oh, whatever. I'm going to, meant to be at church anyway, so I threw in these CDs, and um, what he had to say absolutely blew me away because. Um, he talked about how being a Christian can be exciting and real and um, like something that's fulfilling and he said he had such confidence and like passion about it that I was like, I told myself then and there in the car like, I want what this guy has. So I decided to put a Drift for Christ sticker on the back window as a way to show people that I'm a Christian and to try and open up doors and opportunities to share Jesus with people. But instead of finding it fulfilling and exciting, I found it a constant battle within myself to try and do the right things. But I just kept stuffing up and kept falling back to these same old things like going out, partying and getting drunk again. And 
it's just a constant battle. It wasn't until I realised that I couldn't change and that I kind of didn't want to change because what I was doing was too easy and too much fun. But it wasn't until I realised that without actually getting to know Jesus and reading the Bible and getting to experience the life that he actually lived, until you do that and get to that personal relationship with Jesus, you'll never have like that fun, fulfilled, exciting life. In Revelation 3 verse 20, Jesus says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and lets me in, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. This is Jesus saying to you, let me into your heart. I want to have a personal relationship with you and so I can give you a fulfilling, exciting life and spend eternity with you. This is what I have done in my life and it has totally changed my life. I hope you do the same.